See? Because they thought I fell into the outhouse. See what you're missing? See what you're missing, Robin? And she had, she had to get a, a dip net, like a fishing net, to get the pig out of the, the wow. shit in the outhouse. Yeah. Well, there you go. Well, they, uh, the guy you know, climbed down the well and got his son. The boy suffered a minor skull fracture and was treated, and, uh, but never lost consciousness. So it was uh, pretty okay. But that can be extremely dangerous if you have an uncovered well. I'm pretty sure if you have a well on your property, you probably don't have a phone to call 911. <laughs> That's why so you you're on your own. To get we don't believe in phones here. <laughs> they haven't been invented yet. We like to live our lives like it's, you know, 1776. That's right. Coming soon. So, uh, we're proceeding to trial on the 15th. I don't know. My attorney didn't really, uh, pop in. She popped in over a conference. She was in her car. Um, they put me in the jury box because they didn't have, uh, they're cleaning the stand for, uh, big cases coming up or some shit because they're disinfecting everything. Uh, let's see, they are going to let the jury ask me questions, uh, whatever, October 15th, I'm not sure how this, how this works, the jury's going to be able to ask me questions, etc, 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 from my understanding, it's still 12, um, so, Lakeisha spoke on behalf of me, obviously, What else really say? I mean, you know, they were running behind because they had some kid in there with drugs in his backpack and dogs or some shit. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, it should be should be interesting. So they, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I don't know. No situation. I just, I guess I'm not far enough into the subject to understand it. But I was under the impression that, you know, that we were proceeding, that they were gonna, if I didn't take their offer today, that they were gonna fucking have me locked up. Uh, so that's what I was debating all weekend. But, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about everything. Will it destroy it? I mean, like, I get it's nothing compared to some of what some of the you know, other guys are going through. But at the same time, you know, like I said, I got five kids at home. I don't want to roll over and show my belly, but at the same fucking time, it's like, what do you do, you know, when you support a whole entire household? You know, if I would have honestly knew that this fucking... Because apparently now there's five witnesses, so there's Officer Myers, there's uh, whatever the fuck, you know, he's like the drug dog guy at fucking Kukana. Uh, and then there is Officer Charlie's Fosters, which we know he is a dirty cop. At the same time, you know, he... I just don't like him. Maybe it's just a whole Fosters. They're all assholes. You know, I worked for a few Fosters. So they're all the fucking same fucking punk bitches. Um, I don't know, like, oh, Jesus Christ, there's a guy mowing the fucking lawn out here wearing a mask. It's like, why are you wearing a mask? There's no one next to you while you're mowing the fucking lawn. I don't understand. Uh, I wore a mask. Mask in there. I felt like shit. Uh, I don't know. I just pretty worked up on the whole subject right now. I, I do have something kind of cool to show everyone. Check this out. It's a 3D printed middle finger. Cool. Huh? Look at it. It was on sale. Well, I had to send some people some of these and they didn't like it enough. I mean, I think it needs a little bit more artistry done to it. So. Yeah. It's pretty big. You could really sit and rotate on it.